Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the May Birchbox unboxing. I've took a little peek inside to see what I've got just so I knew what other pieces of makeup to put on my face but I thought I'd do the swatches and what's in there and the rest with you guys. This is what's in my birch box. First thing that's in here is the Lucetta, Lucetta Keratin Conditioner Smoothing and Nourishing Formula for All Hair Type. This is a 40ml little tool. Oh, that smells really nice. Next thing is this, which is the Natural Body Wash Relaxing Geranium and Peppermint Revitalising Body Wash from Green Frog Botanic. And this is cruelty free, vegan, palm oil free. It's got no parabens, dermatologically tested, and it's 50 mils. It has a nice natural kind of smell. Next thing up is the Olshe Douche Luscious Lip Stain, and this is in the shade Steaming Red. We did have the choice of what to pick. There was this and a pink one. I picked the red one. I'm just going to demonstrate that now. That actually dries down quite nicely. It's quite a pretty colour. It does transfer slightly. Next thing is this makeup brush. Oh, that's soft. Got a rose gold ferrule and a pink handle, and this is a Spectrum A05. I was just going to use this to highlight today because why not? Highlight, I'm going to use the Distorted Dreams palette by Sleek, and I'm going to use this pinky shade in here. A nice soft brush. Actually quite a nice size for highlighting. I imagine it'd be quite good for a contour as well. Might even be a reasonable blush brush. I don't think I've got a blush here to try out. That's the highlighting done. I'm just going to wipe the excess of that off on the back of my hand because the next thing I seem to have in here is packed up reasonably well. Another benefit hula. I did receive one of these pretty much exactly the same last month. So instead of breaking into this one, I'm just going to put it on the sides. And use this one to very lightly contour. To review the products that I can actually review. This lip stain is really nice. It's definitely dried down to a matte finish. I wonder how this would hold up with eating greasy food though, because ones like this don't always hold up the best. But it's a pretty colour, and they did actually send me the colour which I requested. I'm a little bit disappointed that I've got Hula two months in a row, because it's not really my shade, the lighter one would be more my shade for actually proper contouring and bronzing. For the conditioner and the body wash, I'm sure they're both quite lovely actually, they both smell really nice, and it's good that they're sending out a body wash that's all like more natural and vegan and stuff like that, I think that's really interesting that they've done that, and it smells quite nice. The last thing to review is the Spectrum brush, I actually really enjoy this brush, it's really soft and it's got a good sort of size to it. The only brush I have that's similar in shape is quite a lot bigger. So it's nice to have one to blend out that's a lot smaller and can get kind of more into the 
it's always nice to see brushes being sent out in boxes like this because I do believe that it's not always the makeup that does the great job, it can be your brushes. So that's my review of the May Birch Box 2018. Thank you so much for watching, please like, subscribe and comment and hope to see you again soon.